Welcome to Touch Technology Review today, a very quick demonstration of the MacBook Pro Touch Bar and in particular how it plays out when using Logic Pro X. Now I must say when I first picked up this machine, I wasn't overly impressed with the touch bar. It's just a little strip above your keyboard, but once you use it with some of Apple's applications such as Logic, you can see how the engineers program this with their software in mind. And Logic Pro is an example of how well implemented this touch bar is. So let's take a look at some of the features and why you might want to upgrade your MacBook Pro to one of the latest models to take advantage of this new touch bar. Every instrument that you press on, every track that you're using in Logic will have its own specific set of options when you click on it. So basically, if we have a look at this instrument here, which is the electro bass, we get some parameters here, which we can change using the touch bar. And we also get the option to select a keyboard, which is really useful if you're out on the road and you don't have access to an external keyboard and you wanna lay down a few ideas. So basically what we do here is we tap on the icon to the left here next to the escape button and we get a subset of options here. And one of them on the right hand side is our keyboard option. So now we get a little miniature keyboard that appears on the touch bar that we can use to play some notes. So let's just go ahead and play a few notes here. And also we can change our scale and we can turn the arpeggiator on and off. Now the other great thing about the touch bar is that you can bring up your transport controls that normally allow you to press record, pause and stop a track and so on. You press the middle option and then we get our play, record, loop buttons and so on. So that's a really nice way to interface with the software other than using the regular short keys it would have been used to in the past. You can also use the touch bar as a timeline scrubber which is really useful to go and navigate throughout your track. And I find where this really comes into its own is where you have an instrument that has multiple parameters that you can normally change using your mouse. Now using the touch bar is much more intuitive than using a mouse or using the trackpad. So I'm gonna show you that now. So I've got another sound in here called Chicago Chords. First of all, let's go and put an arpeggiator on there. And I'm just making a few basic changes to the cutoff, the residence, frequency and attack and also the release rate to make those changes in the sound. That's all I've got time for today, just showing you very quickly some of the basic features you get when using Logic and the new touch bar. Now, if you're looking for the ultimate touchscreen experience using Logic Pro, then I'd highly recommend that you go ahead and download the Logic Pro app. It's an extension to Logic Pro and it brings across some touchscreen capability, including keyboards, mixers and faders, and also some parameter enhancements and adjustments for your instruments. So it's a really useful app. Uh, it uses the larger screen of an iPad, which is much better than the touch bar. And as you can see, you can use multiple sliders at once. And that's really useful when it comes down to automating your mix. So I'd highly recommend grabbing a copy of that. As mentioned, it's free and easily accessible, and you can just set it up on your Wi-Fi network and you'll be up and running in minutes. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. Every little like and subscription goes a long way into ensuring the ongoing success of the channel. Thanks again, see you on the next video. Bye for now.